So the quarter-final lineup in the top half of the draw is now complete. It's time now to turn our attention to the other half of the draw. And first up in the second half of this afternoon session, James Wade, the number two seed, up against, well, his lookalike, his uh, doppelganger, if you like. Mark Webster, a qualifier who's made very, very nice progress indeed here this weekend. A very, very good win over Steve Beaton yesterday by six legs to one for the Welshman. Wade was even more ruthless in his 6-0 demolition of Dirk van Dijvenbode. And I, for one, think we could be in for a very watchable and a very absorbing encounter. Rod Harrington back with me for this one. Should be good. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Rob. Um, James Wade, obviously the favourite. I think there's going to be plenty of legs in this game, but um, I don't think we're going to see too many 180s. They're not prolific 180 hitters. But one thing James Wade is very good at, and one of the best in the world has been for a while, he's taken out those shots at just over the 100. So there's a, a few markets to have a, a look at. But um, Mark Webster was impressive. I mean, James Wade, we talk about him all the time, how solid he is, but it was nice to see Mark Webster. Not Thank only did he play well, first leg is Mark to but throw his action, first. as we call it, Game on. was as good as I've seen it for a long time. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see if he can carry on that action you know, just keeping the head and the shoulder still and just letting the arm do all the work, which is exactly what those first two darts did. 134. Yeah, you mentioned the 180 market. Uh, just the one yesterday for Wade in that 6-0 win over Van, Di uh, Van Dijvenbode. Well, they're both 140 hitters. They're not, not prolific 180s, especially James Wade. Wade's opponent didn't have a single dart at a double yesterday as well. Wade pinged six from eight as well at uh, 134 in that one. And an average of 100.2. You said about the 100 scores, and there it was, the average of 100.2 as well for Wade yesterday. It was machine-like from the machine. Well, we talked about 180s at the previous game. 11 180s in that. So Brilliant. You know. One hundred. Good performance from Kim Hybrex because you know, as we keep saying, that uh, Michael Smith is one of the dangerous players in the world of darts. And uh, but it just shows you that little extra bit of consistency Mark and Uguala, experience is uh, what gets you over the line. Yeah. Well, Kim Hybrex has been threatening a good run in Europe. He made the semis in Riza three weeks ago. Into the 59. quarters here. Just one or two tweaks for uh, James Wade. Changing his flights. I don't know, I thought he was packing his suitcase to go home somewhere. <laughs> well, Wade was a quarter finalist here last year. Looking to at least emulate that this time around. Mark Uruguay, 74. He's seeded to reach the final. Well, double top for Webster. 34. He will come back. James Wade's still changing his flights or stems. Looks like a new flight. Because sometimes if you, when you're in practice and you're clattering the top of the flight, it, it gets thick. And um, you've only got to have one deflection off of that and it could cost you the leg. So... 93. Just put clean Mark flights in. 40. So Webster at tops for a, a nearly hold. Game shot on the first leg, Mark Webster. Second leg is James to throw first. Well, that might have been a steam that uh, James has just changed. I spoke briefly with uh, Steve Beaton last night, the man beaten by Webster yesterday, 6-1. He, he was surprised at how well Webster played in that match. He admitted he was beaten by the better player on the day, but he said he'd never seen Webster play so well. 98. And his day didn't get any better, Steve, because he went over to the airport to get his flight, stayed over there for four hours, and then was told that his flight had been cancelled. So he, he was in a 40. VIP room over there, and he had a couple of beers. So, uh, but apparently he has managed to get his flight home today. 57. Yeah, he still had a smile on his face despite all his troubles yesterday. Webster and Beaton, two former Lakeside champions, Webster... Had a really good time of it yesterday. He threatened a nine dart finish at one stage. I think he also threatened a 170 checkout too. He had three 12 dart legs in that match, including one in the final leg as well. 
60. There was a 115 checkout somewhere in there as well. All in all, there was plenty for Webster to reflect on. That was a huge, huge positive. 99. Well, as yet, this match has not really taken off. I know we're only in the second leg. 140. As I say, that James Wade gives himself a little bit of breathing space. 58. James Uruguay, 146. 68 required. 86. Well, James Wade, one of the few people on 68, will go for treble 16 because he loves the double 10. He also loves the double top. James Uruguay, 60. 2nd He has the double ten as well. Third as a, is marked to a throw good first backup plan, just off. in case, but he didn't need it there. Wade has had success on the European Tour. He won in Gibraltar in 2014, reached the semis there earlier this 100. year. That represents his best run in Europe so far in 2015. 60. And we mentioned it yesterday, a player who's 60. blown hot and cold in Europe this year. Had a really difficult spell after the Premier League's judgment night too. He drew three and lost four of his seven remaining matches 100. in the Premier League. He lost 7-0 to Van Gerwen, 7-1 to Taylor and 7-1 to Chizzy as well. Had a heavy defeat in Japan as well by Gary Anderson, didn't he? 8-1, I think it was. 60. Yes, and there's someone like James Wade. I mean, you know, we talk about the solid game. He doesn't very often. We well, think he doesn't get thrashed that often, but he, you know, got four, you know, Real beaten up in all one of those matches. Just were at the races. You know, on the odd occasion, you just accept it. But if it starts to happen regular, then you've got to... Something that needs to be addressed, yeah. Yeah, certainly. 100. 59. Well, that's a good-looking dart from Wade. Surely he's going to follow that up. 85. Oh, Mark Uruguay, so six darts for Mark Webster. 10. Uh, treble 10 now, or maybe the treble 14. 130. Or the treble 11. Well, all Wade can do here is make an impression and he's doing precisely that it's the first maximum of the match Mark Rigoire, 29. we thought they'd be few and far between but there's the first Webster with two darts at a double game shot on the third leg Mark Webster and Webster Fourth leg is James to throw first game on gets his nose back in front once again at 2-1 123. Yeah, that's a good reply because James Wade after hitting the 180 and couldn't use it. Sometimes you're thinking about that when you're trying to throw the next three darts. 122. 100. By well, the way it's going, Rob, you, you're not going to see too many breaks of throw in this match. 100. 100. I was hoping for a quick match here, to be quite honest. 134. Uh, as I come down the VIP room, they just put the cakes out. The cake is on offer. And I do like a cake, as most people who know me know. 59. James Uruguay, 144. Any particular offering that catches the eye today? They had five different cakes up there. I did count. And uh, perhaps I may sample most of them on the way back. 88. 
I would bring you one down, but I'll probably eat it by the time I get yeah. here, so. It's okay. Well, Wade has got himself down to 56 here. 100. And it's uh, yeah, proven 56. to be the match that we almost half expected, really. Solid darts from both players. If unspectacular, just the one maximum so far. James Game Wade, double 10, almost James inevitably Wade. is taken out. Fifth leg is marked to throw first. Game on. The funny thing about both these players, uh, and especially James Wade in the way he plays all his games, it never looks like blistering, exciting, high scoring, power scoring. 83. When you look at his, I mean, that was a 15 dart leg. The previous one, I think, was 15 as yeah. well, which is as, as tidy as it can get. But it doesn't always look that impressive. 84. Yeah, healthy checkout stats from uh, James Wade. Two from three, two from four for Webster. 93. But we've said it so many times before about Wade, he often does just what he needs to do to get through. I was very surprised in the 99. first leg when he hit a 180. Uh, that late on in the leg, because normally James Wade does not want to do that. He normally thinks, I can't win this leg, I don't want to hit a big score, because I want to kick off the next leg with that big score. 57. And he openly admits that as well. He mm. said, a, a, a pointless task, he calls it. Well, this would be a timely 180 for him if he could find it, and he does so. It's on the Webster throw as well, and that's exactly what you were talking about there, Roddy. It's a good time to come up with a 180. He had that in reserve. And Webster, well, he's had three successive sub-100 scores here. 92. And there's another one. James Uruguay, 138. So Webster with a chance here for a break in the fifth leg of the match. That's very nice indeed from James oh, Wade. Game oh. shot in the fifth leg. The one three eight. Normally it's the 18s is the first route, but James Wade comes to the 19s. So James James to throw first. And what on. a crucial 12 dart leg it was, and it breaks the throw. One hundred. Well, Mark Webster's having a lot of his first start just low on the 20, which is not a good sign with your rhythm. Just means a little bit of tension in there. 140. Yeah, Wade seems to have settled into a nice rhythm now. Now that's a better dart. You can find trebles from the first one. 140. Webster needed that, certainly. 60. Had a couple of breaks yesterday, Webster, in that 6-1 win over Steve Beaton. Needs to find a break from somewhere here as well. This might not be 99. his opportunity. Yes, Webster's doing what, a, what we call scruffy scoring. 92, 96, 85, 95. 140. But it don't really frighten anybody. Not nowadays, anyway. A couple of trebles here would, though. Again, just a bare treble. So James Major Wade, 61. treble seven's his route. Oh, no, he's gone for the 25, 36. Now, that's unusual for James. 21. Mark, you require 100. Well, he might well come back, James Wade. There was a slight look of anguish on his face there. He was a long way off with that double 20 in the end. That's a nice first start from Mark Webster, though. Leaves tops for an instant break. James, Sean, and that's an excellent leg. reply Mark from the Welshman. Well, I said at the beginning of the Seven game, Mark to throw first. both these players are renowned for taking the checkouts just over the 100. And Webster hasn't let us down on that one. Well, it's Webster Game now. On. That's two breaks to throw. And Webster has got the advantage. Yeah, you see that so many times as well. You wait for a long time for a break. One comes along, you think, okay, that could be the turning point. And then all of a sudden, there's 26. An, an instant reply from the other player. Well, when, when you've broken your opponent, the next leg is so important to hold on to your throw strongly because 
you know, sometimes you go, oh, I broke him right, I'll just hold on to me throw, and all of a sudden you throw him six darts, and you haven't done anything with them six darts, you're thinking, what's going on? You know, such an important turning point in the game, you go 4-2 up, or 3 all, two legs to that actual leg was worth two. Yeah, and those fine margins are really magnified, accentuated in this best of 11 format. 97. And so many times, matches can just hinge on something like that. Sixty. 